Hello! We're going to review multiplication facts. I've got some great students in front of me, and I'm going to review how I use music and Schoolhouse Rock, back from my younger days, to know the patterns for multiplication. Now, we have a handout, and I'll attach this onto my YouTube channel so that you can see it, that has all the skip counting and the numbers, and it even has the order in which I teach these facts. Ones are pretty easy. Uh, one, it's just times the number itself. So everybody give me the answer when I say it out loud. What's one times six? Six. six. What's one times 11? Eleven. Eleven. So you know that pattern. Even if it's a big number, like one times 72, what is it? 72. Exactly. Next, I would use this musical review with patterns to talk about skip counting. So if we use these patterns and put up a finger as you say each multiple, it's kind of like they do in the Schoolhouse Rock video with fives, which is like a hide-and-go-seek game and they're counting to make sure everybody has time to go hide. So if you haven't checked out Schoolhouse Rock, I'll also put those as links on my uh, YouTube channel. My favorite three to help you with multiplication facts are the number five, the number three, and the number eight. For Schoolhouse Rock. So those three videos, you can look at the cartoons that I learned when I was your age. Okay, using skip patterns, starting with twos. This is like the cheer if you're playing a soccer game or a football game and you cheer for the other team. Two, four, six, eight, who do we appreciate? Same thing, these are skip countings. Also, these are called even numbers. So everybody please put up your fingers and we're going to skip count up to two times twelve. So ready, go. 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, 14, 16, 18, 20, 22, 24. Twos are pretty straightforward. The next easiest one to know is tens. For tens, the pattern is you just add a zero behind the whole number to make multiples of 10. So let's do skip counting for 10. Ready? Go. 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90, 100, 110, 120. Good. Five is Schoolhouse Rock. So I'm going to sing it just like the video does. But we're going to do it all together, and we're going to do the skip counting with our fingers going up. Get set, ready, go. 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40, 45, 50, 55, 60, 65, 70, 75, 80, 85, 90, 95, 100, ready or not, here I come. So you can do skip counting. And they stop you in the video. For example, let's uh, stop when I say stop. So get set, ready, go. 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, stop. Seven fingers, seven times five is 35. And that's how you can use skip counting. The next easiest, I think, is 11s. 11s are doubles. They're like twins of the factor you're multiplying. So let's skip count for 11. And it's going to be a little bit tricky when we get to the last two, so be sure you're using your reference and study those extra. But skip, you count, skip counting up to, up to times nine is pretty easy. Ready? Go. 11, 22, 33, 44, 55, 66, 77, 88, 99, times 10 is going to be 110 where you put the zero at the end, then times 11 is 121, and times 12 is 132, that's a hard one, 132, okay, study that. Next, my favorite Schoolhouse Rock video is called Three is a Magic Number, it's lovely, and it goes like this. Three is a magic number. Yes, it is. It's a magic number. But all the numbers are magical if you see how they fit together. Three has a little pattern in the Schoolhouse Rock video, and it does some pausing in there. So let's go ahead and do the skip counting, but we're going to pause. See where there's space on the paper? That's where we're going to pause. So this is how it goes singing-wise. Go ahead and put your fingers up. Three, six, nine, twelve, fifteen, eighteen. 21, 24, 27, 30. Try it again. 3, 6, 9, 12, 15, 18, 21, 24, 27, 30. And then they do it backwards too in the video. Pretty cool. Now, nines. Nines are one of my favorite things ever because you can amaze people with this. There are many people on the planet that have never seen this. But because we are blessed to have 10 fingers, the nine. Multiples are pretty easy. You can use your fingers. So if everybody could please put your fingers out, and you're going to number them, like in the picture here. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. So if you number your fingers, and you put down the finger of the factor you're multiplying by 9, the fingers to the left, 
of the lowered finger are tens and to the right are ones. What does that mean? Well, let's say that you put down your fourth finger. One, two, three, four. These are tens. Three tens makes how much, class? Thirty. Thirty. And these are ones, the one here plus these other five. So how many ones are there? Six. No? Six. 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 So nine times four is 36. Okay, let's do them all right now slowly. Put down your first finger. What's nine times one? Nine. Nine, nine. nine times two. A one and eight makes what? Eighteen. Eighteen. Nine times three? Twenty-seven. Nine times four? Thirty-six. Nine times five? Forty-five. Nine times six? Fifty-four. Nine times seven? Sixty-three. Nine times eight? Seventy-two. Nine times nine? Eighty-one. Nine times ten? 90. What's 9 times 11? 99. Just like that game we were playing. And 9 times 12 is going to be kind of interesting. Multiples of 9 have a sum of 9 if you added up the digits. So 1 plus 0 plus 8 is 9. And that's kind of an unusual fact, but it works. So 9 times 12 is 108. Okay, that's all the front. Now we flip the paper over. And we have some different songs and rhythms that we can use to help us remember and do the skip counting again so that we remember the right multiples. Knowing the right multiples will help us forever. It'll help us with reducing fractions and it'll help us make our numbers easier. It'll help us have a better number sense so that we can play with the numbers more and fit them together with life. So I created a train rhythm for fours and this is how it goes. Four, eight, twelve, sixteen. 20, 24, 28, 32, 36, 40, 44, 48. Now, we do have some new students here. Let's see how they do comparatively. Everybody put your fingers up. Ready for the train rhythm? Ready? Go. 4, 8, 12, 16, 20, 24, 28, 32, 36, 40, 44, 48. Oh, they're a little shy. Okay, let's try a little bit louder for the sevens. For the sevens, I've heard this somewhere. I'm not sure exactly where it came from. I'm very grateful to whomever created it, and I would love if I knew the source. Uh, but it's kind of like a piratey song, so we call them the slinky sevens. Still, again, skip counting. Everybody's fingers up. I will do it the first time. I want you just to mouth it the first time, and next time you're going to turn on the volume. If you don't turn on the volume significantly, you're going to be standing. So this is me. Just mouth it first. Okay, so here's the sevens. Ready? 7, 14, 21, 28, and 35, 42, and 49. Sing them every morning, 56 and 63. Then at last it's 70. How can you learn the slinky sevens? Sing them every morning. Okay, now you. Ready? Go. 7, 14, 21, 28 and 35, 42 and 49, sing them every morning, 56 and 63, then at last it's 70. How can you learn the slinky seven? Sing them every morning. Yeah, sevens are tough. So that's a cute little song for that. Next we've got a rap for six. I know you may not think that I can rap, but when there's a need... I'm going to go for it. Put myself out there for you guys. Remember, this is all to help you. And if this helps you learn your six times tables, great. Here's how it goes. You guys can go ahead and do it with me each time. Mute first, and then I want to hear sounds, but not any extra sounds. Okay, here we go. Uh, here's the quick fix for six. Uh, here's the quick fix for six. Six, twelve, eighteen, twenty-four. That's six times four. Let's do some more. Thirty, thirty-six, forty-two, forty-eight. That's six times eight. You're doing great. 54, 60, 66, and now for kicks, just one last six. Six times 12 is 72. Six dozen, yo, and now we're through. And you can see all these different things on the yellow page, so that if you need to see the lyrics, we'll go right here. I'll point to this. You guys show me the skip counting. Ready? Go. Here's the quick fix for six. Uh, here's the quick fix for six. 6, 12, 18, 24, that's 6 times 4, let's do some more. 30, 36, 42, 48, that's 6 times 8, you're doing great. 
54, 60, 66. And now for kicks, just one last six. Six times 12 is 72. Six dozen, yo, and now we're through. Okay, next, Schoolhouse Rock has a great song, and I'm going to have this also as a place you can go to from my YouTube channel, but you can also just Google Schoolhouse Rock and find out the multiplication facts of eight. My sons knew their eight times tables when they were about four because I sang it to them as a lullaby. They're not hard. I promise it's the truth. They're not hard, and it's a soft little song, so I'm going to sing it to you, and you guys are not going to make a sound, but you're going to say each of the numbers as we go. They're just cracking up in here, I just have to tell you. Okay, this is how it goes. One times eight is eight. Two times eight is sixteen. Three times eight is twenty-four. Four times eight is thirty-two. And five times eight is forty, you know. Six times eight is forty-eight. Seven times eight is fifty-six. Eight times eight is sixty-four. Nine times eight is seventy-two, and ten times eight is eighty, that's true. Eleven times eight is eighty-eight, and twelve times eight is ninety-six. Now here's a chance to get off on your new math tricks, because twelve times eight is the same as ten times eight plus two times eight. Eighty plus sixteen, ninety-six. One times eight is eight, and it goes on just like that. So the eights are a little tricky, but if you see the multiples, you can see and build the patterns. You can practice the songs. And I'm not kidding. Once you get it comfortable in your head, just the list of multiples, you'll know your facts much better. Now the last one, the twelves are tough, but you can use the same tip as in the eight song. Multiply by ten first, and then by two, and then add your answers. Also, you can see a pattern. Twelve doubled is 24, and that's 2 times 12. So you take these two, double it. 3 times 12 is 36. 4 times 12 is 48, so it's a 4, and then double it to an 8. And then if you add 12 more, 5 times 12 is 60, just like there's 60 minutes in an hour. Then you do the same pattern again, plus 60. 6 times 12 is 72. 7 times 12 is 84. 8 times 12 is 96. 9 times 12 is 108. Then times 10 is really easy. You put the 0 behind the 12, 120. Then you can add 12 again. 12 times 11 is 132. And the last, the biggest of all, 12 times 12. Class, what's 12 times 12? 144. That's all. Thanks so much.